All right, well, rental bidding wars, they are happening all across the country. Brandon Swedish is a single father, and he's in a situation familiar to so many. His landlord dramatically raised his rent, so he had to move. He put in a bid on another place he could afford, but was outbid. And of course, we are joined now by Brandon. Thank you so much for your time. And Brandon, how much notice did you get about that increase in rent? Uh, I had 45 days. Mm. And it must have been a relief to find that second place. But uh, explain what happened exactly. How did you lose out on that, even though there was some type of agreement in place? Yeah, when I first found the second place, it was good because uh, the initial buyer, or buyer, excuse me, renter had backed out. And they said they would reach out to me if it became available. So me and the kids went and checked it out and uh, followed up that night, let them know everything looked good. And we were looking to move in as soon as possible. And all of a sudden, uh, they didn't. Uh, respond and I didn't hear back yeah. till the following afternoon and he's like hey we had someone else who was a backup to you and they uh, made a offer a few hundred dollars higher sight unseen oh. so unless you want to uh, match it then you know we're, we're gonna go with them well what did you finally have to do for you and your family uh, we ended up finding a place that was the same as what we were paying previously. However, you know, we went from a house with a two-bedroom garage and a fenced-in yard to a smaller uh, two-bedroom townhouse. So, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're doing okay, but it's a lot smaller, and uh, it was quite an adventure getting here, for yeah, sure. and not ideal. I mean, we know we want to be a homeowner. Does that goal even seem attainable these days, and how do you think you could make that a reality? A lot more cash on hand. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I, I was saying before how, uh, you know, uh, like moving costs, for example, in most places is three times your rent. So you look at a, a two bedroom, you're paying, you know, fourteen hundred to two thousand dollars. That's five to six thousand dollars to move in. You know, um, five ten years ago, that's a down payment on a house. So it has kind of been a a shot to to that that hope. You know what I mean? It's it's still attainable. It's just going to take a, a lot more money and a, a lot more effort, I guess. Yeah. And we know there's another side to this, of course, right? Landlords and companies were hit very hard during the pandemic. There were lost rent payments for them, also the eviction moratorium. So they're saying that the increase in rent is necessary. I'd love to know, do you see where they're coming from? Um, just being familiar with things. I mean, I know there were people who took you know, uh, I don't want to say advantage in a negative way, but took advantage of being able to not make payments during COVID. I, however, made every payment to mm. my landlord. So, you know, for me, it was kind of like, oh, you know, I, 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 I took care of things throughout that time. And then you're like, hey, guess what? I'm not going to sell it. And then, you know, you tried to rent it out uh, higher than it was. But, but yeah, I mean, long story short, I mean, I could kind of see where they're coming from. But at the same time, there's been a lot of companies rather than individuals, I believe, buying up these properties and jacking up the prices. Right. So, you know, I'd feel a little bit more empathy towards an individual than a property management company, I guess. I hear you. And also hear you. It's hard to feel like you've done everything right and to still be in a situation like that. Um, have you learned anything from this experience or what advice would you have for anyone who's in a similar situation? Um, you know, I, I know a bunch of people who've been looking and struggling to find places. So, I mean, for, for one, just keep looking, keep pushing. Don't, you know, take the first place you have to. I mean, I know it, it's tough um, going through different, you know, whether you're sitting in a hotel room or staying with family, you know, find a place that's going to work so you're not, you know, in trouble, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, in the future. But, um, you know, aside from that, hopefully things will correct uh, with, with the market. Um, you know, I don't think it's sustainable, at least where I live, because where I live in Volusia County, Florida, we have probably one of the lowest median incomes in the state, but we have one of the highest rent averages in the state. Right. So, you know, that 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 has to balance out somewhere, I think. So hopefully, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, stay strong and keep pushing and hopefully it'll, um, you know, swing back in our, our favor. Oh, well, certainly wishing you and your family lots of luck. Thank you so much, Brandon, for sharing your story yeah. with us. Thank you. Have a happy fourth. Happy fourth. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.